Katie and the Big Snow by Virginia Lee Burton. Katie was a beautiful red crawler tractor. She was very big and very strong, and she could do lots of things. Katie had a bulldozer to push dirt around with. Katie also had a snow plow to plow snow with. Katie belonged to the highway department of the city of Geopolis. The highway department repaired the roads in the summer, kept them clear of snow in the winter, so traffic could run in and out and around the city. Map of City of Geopolis. All summer, Katie worked on the roads with her bulldozer. Katie liked to work. The harder and tougher the job, the better she liked it. Once, when the steamroller fell in the pond, Katie pulled it out. The highway department was very proud of her. They used to say, nothing can stop her. Then winter came. They put snow plows on the big trucks and changed Katie's bulldozer for her snow plow. But Katie was so big and strong, she had to stay at home because there was not enough snow for her to plow. Then, early one morning, it started to drizzle. The drizzle turned to rain. The rain turned into snow. By noon, it was four inches deep. The highway department sent out the plow trucks. By afternoon, the snow was 10 inches deep and still coming down. Looks like a big snow, they said at the highway department and sent Katie out. The strong wind came up. The drifts began to form. Two feet, three feet, five feet. The snow reached the first story windows, the second story windows, and then it stopped. One by one, the truck snow plows broke down. The roads were blocked. The traffic, no traffic could move. The schools, the stores, the factories were closed. The railroad station and the airport were snowed in. The mail couldn't go through. The police couldn't protect the city. The telephone and power lines were down. There was a break in the water main. The doctor couldn't get his patient to the hospital. The fire department was helpless. Everyone and everything was stopped, but Katie. The city of Geopolis was covered with a thick blanket of snow. Slowly and steadily, Katie started to plow out the city. Help, cried the chief of police. Help us to get out to protect the city. Sure, said Katie. Follow me. So Katie plowed out the center of the city. Help, cried the postmaster. Help us get the mail through. Sure, said Katie. Follow me. So Katie plowed down to the railway station. Help, help called out the telephone company and the electric company. The poles are down somewhere in East Geopolis. Follow me, said Katie. So Katie plowed out the roads to East Geopolis. Help, called out the superintendent of the water department. There's a break in the water main somewhere in North Geopolis. Follow me, said Katie. And she plowed out the roads to North Geopolis. Help, emergency, called out the doctor. Help me get this patient to the hospital way out in West Geopolis. Sure, said Katie. Follow me. Help, 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 called out the fire chief. There's a three-alarm fire way out in South Geopolis. Follow me, said Katie. So Katie plowed out the road to the fire in South Geopolis. On the way back, a plane signaled for help. The airport was snowed in. Katie was beginning to get a little tired, but she couldn't stop. Not Katie. She hurried over to the airport and plowed out the runways so the airplane could land safely. Then after she had bro found the broken down truck plows, she started home. The fire department had put out the fire. The doctor had saved his patient. The water department had repaired the main. The telephone and electricity were on. The mail could go through and the police could protect the city, thanks to what Katie did. Katie finished up the side streets so traffic could move in and out and around the city, and then she went to home to rest. Then, and only then, 
did Katie stop?